Aviation Minister Mrs. Cecilia Dapa has met with operators of the aviation training institutions in Accra. They focused on providing the needed infrastructure and policies to help make Ghana the aviation hub in Africa and discussed challenges that impede the sector's growth. Global estimates show that Africa would need the aviation industry by 2030 and therefore the need to meet operators of these institutions. In all, nine aviation training institutions for the first time were engaged by the sector minister. Some of their main challenges were the cost of training, inadequate training facilities and granting student loans for their period of study. Training courses offered by these institutions are for cabin crew, flight dispatch and piloting among others. The issue of credibility and accreditation came up as one of the problems the chief executive of Aerovector Aviation Training Institute, Madame Mansa Ampuma, said the cost of training for cabin crew is high because the student pays the city equivalent of the dollar fee. The biggest challenge for us is the challenge that we're facing in all areas in this country, that is employment of the youth. We too are very keen on helping the youth to get employment. So when we train and there is no end products, i.e. employment, it becomes an issue for the, the candidates. So really our focus is on the candidates getting jobs after they've done the training. Access to the airport facility and job opportunities from international airlines for Ghanaian pilots, according to the Deputy Managing Director of CTK Academy, Mr. Kweku and Chibwe Siakon, are some of the hurdles. Looking at the side of uh, cabin crew, I mean, most, of, most people will enjoy it if they have Ghanaian cabin crew on British Airways or on Emirates. I know Qatar Airways uh, sometimes does recruitment of Ghanaian, some Ghanaian uh, cabin crew. But one thing the government can do is to insist that any foreign airline that wants to have um, the permit to operate to Kotoka International Airport should involve local content in terms of uh, uh, cabin crew. The aviation minister, Mrs. Cecilia Dapa, said lack of collaboration between airlines and training institutions often affects job opportunities for the youth. She then pledged her ministry's commitment to engage more youth with interest in the industry. Last year, we've been able to uh, create about, about 600 jobs within the aviation sector formally between the agencies under this ministry. And we realized that at times some of the youth have their first degree, but they need to specialize to be more marketable. That is why we called the institutions training crew members as well as pilots. We realized that there's no coordination between the employing airlines and the training institutions. We want to be the bridge between the two institutions to make sure that when they are trained, they are properly employed. Operators of the aviation training schools say they will train more responsible and qualified practitioners to help grow the aviation industry.